What's going on, guys? This woman that you've seen in this video went by the name of Atiana and uh, Jefferson. Sorry. And the reason I said went by the name, uh, she was killed, I believe, a day or two ago by, wait for it, Texas police, specifically in Fort Worth, Texas. Now, we just had the, the crap show, uh, that is the Botham Shem Jean, the family with the judge, they're calling Mammy the t Tammy the Mammy, and, uh, you know, the uh, court police officer, I believe they call him Bailey for whatever, court police officer that went down, she was stroking her hair, she claimed on the tape, um, she claimed she claimed that she was uh, looking for contraband and all that stuff, which you're supposed to do that in a whole different location, not inside of the courtroom. So what happened was uh, this sister, I guess her door, she left her door open, but she was actually inside playing Xbox with her eight year old nephew. She left her door open and a concerned neighbor was a black man. I would say in the middle ages, maybe in his 40s, close to his 50s. He was concerned. So he didn't call the cops. He he called his welfare uh, line, which really I didn't really know anything about that. I thought he just called the cops to go, you know, to check to see if everything was all right. Now, what he should have done is really go check himself, go not since it's his neighbor. But he called to see if everything was all right. And uh, when the police got up there, they didn't introduce themselves or nothing. They didn't say police. Uh, this is, sorry, that's um the black authority. Sorry. They didn't say this is the police. We need to uh, come in. Uh, is everything okay? Or you know the, the standard stuff they're supposed to say. They just came in. The guy came in like this was a TV show or something like a TV show of cops. He was in there. And he was with his flashlight, and they said, and he got to a point when it, it, it seemed like it was a window. Maybe it was a window to a room, and he said, "Stop and show me your hands." Something in those command. Um, if you want to see the video, you could go to Willie D. Or you go to Nick at night. Those are YouTubers. You most likely go to Willie D Live. He plays the video. I don't want to play it on here. One, it's too harsh. And two, I don't want to get a strike. And right when he says stop uh, or show your hands or anything like that, he gave a quick direct orders. Right after that, he didn't give her no time to react. He just shot one shot, one bullet. And the camera zoomed into a gun, it appears she had on the floor. Which, it doesn't matter. If she wasn't reaching for it, then it, there was no point of even showing that. But this case is ongoing right now. And S. Lee Merritt, the guy who represented Botham Shem Jean, and a lot of people giving him the side eye because they think he the one that made uh, Brett Jean do all of that apologizing or whatnot. Because a lot of people have called him a settlement lawyer, which means he doesn't really fight for justice. He just fight to get, uh, you know, a paycheck. But... I'm going to follow this case as everybody will. This time it seems it's is a black American woman. The last, you know, Botham, Botham Shin, um, Jean was a uh, St. Lucian. Still a black person, but from the Caribbean. I'm going to follow this case and keep an update. But I want to say rest in peace to Atiana uh, Jefferson. And our condolences go out to her family. If you guys know any GoFundMe links or anything like that, do please. Post it in the comment section. And if I find one, I will donate for funeral or whatever other expenses. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Damn it.